Okay, um, I actually did this twice, and I didn't like the first one that I did, but I took your inspiration image, which is this one, um, and started looking at how they may have done it, and I agree it was probably done in, in camera, um, but it may have been done with some, some compositing. Um, you got the hand holding the book, and that could have been on a separate layer all by itself, and if it was, then that could have been placed on top of the bush photo, and then the bush photo duplicated and placed on top of that, and then some selective erasing and reduction of opacity, vignette, or darkening around the edges. So we're just gonna, this is my interpretation of that minus the frame. So gonna start over on this. Uh, let's see which layer do I wanna do. And hopefully I can remove, this is from another one that I tried out. Um, so, we start out with our base photo and then we duplicate that layer and change the blend mode. It might be something different. It might not be light or color. It might be multiply or something else. Uh, but you play around with your blend mode to get something that you like. And what I did was I enlarged this just a bit, as you can see by the edges, and I shifted it over. So I'll just do that real quick one more time. So we duplicate the layer. Um, we enlarge it just a bit. And I enlarged because it was sized to my canvas, so I needed to have some room to, to shift it over. And I guess that's probably good. Then I changed my blend mode. And again, you choose whatever you want to choose for that. I think I did lighter color. And so you see the doubling there, but then I don't want it as pronounced. So I'm going to reduce the opacity. So that's with... with and without. So now that we've got that little doubling going on there, I bring my uh, foreground image into play. So we start out in normal mode um, and then again you can play around with your blend modes to get something that you like. That's actually not bad. I did a different one the first time but I'm going to do screen this time. But I don't want, want her as washed out as that. Well, no, I like her washed out, but I don't want that, that background image as prominent on her. So one way that you can do that is to duplicate the layer. Um, want to get rid of that layer mask. And we're going to add another one. But this time, I'm going to hold my Alt or Option key and click the mask button. And so it gets rid of everything. Now I'm basically painting her back on where I want her. But I'm going to reduce the opacity of my brush to something like 60 or whatever. You can play around with that. I'm just making a, a, getting a big brush. I'm not going to be too precise with it because I'm not going to go outside of those edges of, of her. And I'm just going to get her back. And it looks like I'm going to be, have to be a little bit heavier with that. Oh, my bad. She's got to, I got to get a normal blend mode. So I'm getting her back a little bit. Now, one thing that I'm kind of losing because I liked her wash out, washed out, excuse me. Um, so what we can do there, this is another little trick. Um, we can take... The, let me make sure I'm telling you right. We can put a layer behind her and paint in those areas that we don't want uh, things to show through. So I believe, and I'm testing something now, which I might edit out, but I'm creating a layer behind or under her. And I am going to get a brush. And let's just do just straight up white. Let's see. I don't think that's going to be right, but nope. Let's do a darker color. Like that. Yep. So 
what I'm doing is with these blend modes, it's usually dealing with lights and darks and, and doing different things with that, how much light is letting shine through um, or changing. So um, I am just putting back some of the darker areas so she can show through more. I don't want to go all the way, so I'm going to reduce the opacity of this brush and then, yeah, start brushing off. And we're just doing that to where, you know, like, I, I, I don't particularly like this flower so prominent in there. So I'm just brushing that on there. And the rest I kind of like, even with that. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that. All right, so now we're, we're good on that. Now the other thing that we got to factor in is that um, this image is smaller than our background image. That's not a problem if we stick with the inspiration image because we're going to frame this out. So what we want to do is bring this back and put a layer mask on it um, and then get a marquee selection. I feathered mine just a little bit to 0.5 because I didn't want just a razor sharp edge. And because I know that this image isn't exactly straight, I'm just going to come outside of it just a little bit and do that. And hit delete. And then we're going to shift everything up by holding the shift key and my arrow key on the keyboard. Yeah, that looks good, pretty good. And then the last thing that I will probably do is, um, and again, there are a number of ways that you can do this. I, you could either take these layers and create a smart object and then apply it to that. I'm just going to add a, um, it's almost like a proxy layer, but I'm going to add a uh, solid color and we're going to make that gray. So I know gray is 80, 80, 80. Um, and then I am going to, I might have to rasterize that layer. I think I am going to have to rasterize that layer so I can do what I need to do. Or I could have created a smart object. But uh, I'm going to burn on here. So I get my burn tool and I'm going to burn some of these edges to create like a manual vignette. Now you, the way to get from this gray to actually seeing it on that, gray is like the perfect color to use overlay blend mode. When you use overlay blend mode with gray, the gray disappears, but what you do to the gray uh, appears on your image. I use this for vignettes. I use this for uh, adding noise to an image or a grain to an image sometimes. So we'll do overlay, and you can see it's real subtle, but we've got those edges there. And say, for instance, I wanted to add a little grain to this. Now, for this, I would do a smart object, but um, we're going to add noise, like a uh, newspaper type deal. So you can see how that ages everything there and adds this, this uh, depth to it. This is without. And this is with. So sometimes that can add a lot of character to it. I think I'm going to leave. It. And that is the thing. So this was, let me see if I can get back to our inspiration image. This was our inspiration. And this was our um, duplication or recreation of that image. So hopefully that helped somebody. I know it helped me. <laughs> All right.